prepared yet. You need to try and pick off the units as well. Look at the shields on the Mark Oh my god, the bow is gonna take them! Yo, what's up guys? It's Tasteless. I'm here with our Tosis. This is game number two here. Uh, and I think it's going to be uh, even better than game number one, or Tosis. Uh, that's, yeah, I think that's, it's That's uh, what I uh, think it is. Well, Tasteless, I think it just very well may be. The map is Shakur's Plateau. Up here in our top left, it is Mao's Thorzane. And down here, in the bottom right, we have Nurchio. Uh, Nurcio, a very good Zerg player. We've seen him play a lot of games already, Tasteless. He's got a kind of unique style, but Thorzane is pretty beastly. Yeah, Thorzane was one of these guys. He started out, um, you know, pretty average and has really just shot through the ranks. It's really exciting to see him doing so well, uh, you know, here in the IPL. Yeah, a very talented guy. Used to be a Warcraft 3 player, now a total StarCraft 2 professional. Uh, definitely one of the best in one of the best countries, Sweden. They've been crushing some face, Tasteless. Yeah, they got a really good esports uh, scene out there. I mean, not just for StarCraft 2, but for, you know, FPS games as well. It's good to see esports growing in places besides just Seoul, Korea. Uh, I gotta ask you, Tasteless, are you, are you Swedish? Uh, no. Okay. I'm I know and you know that. <laughs> where, where are we going with this? Well, I was just gonna say, man, you know, they're so good at various video games, and you're the ultimate gamer, so I figured you yeah. must be a Swede. Well, it was a nice guess, Artosis. I am the ultimate game. They didn't name a show after me, mm -hmm. inspired by being the best at games, but just fun fact, I'm not actually Swedish. All right, thank you, Tasteless, for that. Now, we do have a 14 hatchery by uh, Nurcio, and that is not something that is very common. Normally, you see a 15 hatch, so just something a little bit different. And by the way, Nurcio... That ID, I've been thinking, you know, Nurcio, this, it sounds kind of weird, and I almost called him Xenio. Xenio? I wanna, what is with these these Zergs with the evil sorcerer names? I, I, what I want to do is call him Nurcio every time I see it. <laughs> I, it's a cool ID, though. So we have the drone coming in here. He's checking. He sees that there's one gas. So he knows, all right, no uh, double barracks pressure, anything like that. None of that tasteless. He is making a marine. Thorzana is going to chase that drone away. Still mining the gas, he probably wants to kill that. Ooh, and a second gas going down for Thorzane. The drone is now being chased out, and he may cancel that. We're going to find out here in a second. Yeah. And... Run! That drone is fast. He's... Oh, and oh, he turns he around. Up. He tried to fake him out. And the gas does get uh... canceled. Now, I think even, you know, if Nurture is really on top of, game, uh, really on top of his game, he's going to look at that gas time and be like, uh, why are you getting us in gas this quick? There's something fishy going on. But right now, Thorzane, he's going up. He's at 164 gas, tasteless. 172 gas now, tasteless. Yeah, he's uh, he's getting a lot of gas here. This is actually, this is really peculiar and, right now. Oh. Whoa. We have a command center coming up here. So, you know, that's waiting, interesting. Waiting that long, 150 gas and making a command center, even if you're trying to trick out your opponent, that's bad economy management. You take the SUVs off the gas for a little bit. So a little bit of a mistake here by Thorzane as he does throw up his factory with almost 200 gas in the bank. Yeah, I mean, he's, it's it's a little bit weird. So we have the Zerglings now coming out here. They're each gonna take a Zelnaga Watchtower. No, I'm not. One's gonna move over here. <laughs> Is that it's you? It's so hard to, <laughs> to observe and do this at the same time. That was me. So. Now uh, we see that Zerg has taken his drones off the gas. Zergling speed is on the way. Mm -hmm. And that's a pretty good move. You want to have those Zerglings out so that you can take out any scouting SCVs. You basically want to control the map. Yeah, definitely. Now, he does see that uh, reactor on the barracks. That would make me as a Zerg player think, oh, okay, in just a few seconds here, there's going to be a factory floating on there for reactor Hellions. But its own reactor being made and a starport to boot. To boot. To boot. How boot that? It's a boot time. I mean, actually, you know, this is actually kind of, well, this build is a little bit interesting. It's not something we see at the GSL. By the way, if you want to see more of our toasts and myself, uh, check us out at gomtv.net. But yeah, this is not one of the builds we see on the, on the Korean scene. No. It's a little bit weird, a little well, bit different. Well, the economy of it actually is off. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't seem to be perfectly balanced. It could still be good. We're going to see exactly uh, what this strategy entails here. But for the time being, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. 
Well, a spine crawler is going up, so he definitely does think there's a possibility of Hellion speed almost done. A lot of drones on the way while gas is starting getting... Ooh, and a Roach Warren. So kind of a similar build to the last game on Metalopolis. Yeah, he does seem to like these builds. The command center now going to land, so his economy will start picking up. He'll have double mules. The Hellions are out too, so we can use that to try to control the map, get rid of these Zerglings at the Zelnaga Watchtowers. Now he has a lot of Marines, making quite a few Hellions. Medivacs are popping out tasteless. Uh, what do you expect to see here? I'm, I'm thinking he's probably going to just try to attack up the ramp a little bit. Maybe a drop if he feels that his opponent is a little bit out of position. Uh, but with the Roach Warren coming up, that kind of counters everything that Thorazine's doing right now. You know, it's a tough situation to really tell exactly what Thorazine's doing because his build is so interesting. It looks like he wants to move out. He may just want to make sure uh, that the Zerg can't get a third base. Yeah. But, you know, if he tries to attack with this, I don't see this being very successful. Mainly, as you said, because of the Roach Ward. Yeah, Roach is pretty good against this. A ton of Zerglings are on the way. It looks like Nurtio doesn't want to buy Roaches quite yet, but I tell uh, you, I'd, I'd be thinking about it. Now, it looks like he is going to do a little elevator strategy. Killing that Overlord will definitely help out quite a bit, but a lot of Zerglings on the way. Now, you know, here's the problem with doing a strategy like this, is there's basically enough time for Zerg to prepare. He's even getting a spine crawler set up over here. Mm. The Queens are in position, the Zerglings are in position. I don't know if this is going to be too effective. Well, there's going to be six Hellions with a bunch of Marines as well. A ton of Zerglings coming out, Tasteless. And here they move in. The Zerglings are now going to come down. The Medivac taking some shots for the Queen. The drones, uh, a lot of shots being pulled off over there. Uh, right now, this is looking like it's going to at least keep going on for the Terran, but I think with more units coming out here for the Zerg, especially those seven Roaches, there's not a lot they can do against this. And look at that, targeting the Queens on the Medivac. Very good move there by Nurcio, and now his Spine Crawler helping out. A lot of Roaches about to pop, and he's running most of his drones away, at least. That last one, uh, he tried to stay tasteless. He was the unlucky one. Oh, man. When Mount St. Helens is about to go up tasteless, you don't stay. I don't care how long you lived in your house. I don't care that your whole family is raised there. You leave. You run. Here come the Roaches now. And we have a counterattack at the same time over here in the Terran's base. He's moving up. Oh, man. Uh, he needs to uh, shut this. Oh, but he's actually a little bit slow, and the Zerglings get on top! This was clean up over here. Zerglings now inside the main base, attacking the tank, uh, and moving towards more SCDs. And I think Thorzan, although his attack wasn't particularly effective, this is really the bigger part here. The Zerglings getting inside the base and taking out way more drones, uh, or SCDs, <laughs> than uh, the Terran took out drones. Yeah, it's, you know, he's stopped making drones for a bit, so he only has 33, but down to 40 SCVs right now. And look at what we have moving through the map. Tasis, 14 more Lings in production. Already has a bunch of Lings out there. In fact, 20 Lings and 9 Roaches on their way with 12 more being produced. And this is not a very large army. In fact, that bunker right there, Tasis, is empty. So this timing could do a ton of damage. And here, here he goes. goes. He's going inside the base, attacking the bunker. The siege tank looks like it will go down. And the bunker, no way SCVs are going to be able to get over there. He has to get these SCVs up. There is a Banshee, but that's just not going to be enough. And he accidentally locks oh, out oh, his oh. own SCV. Oh my god, it's like Resident Evil, but in StarCraft days as they're banging on the doors. And oh my god, they get in, but the zombie roaches follow right behind. Oh no. Well, this sucks right now for Thorzin. I don't know if this is something that's going to end the game right now, but... Well, I mean, it actually might. The SCVs, so many of them are going to be taking hits. This expansion, mm -hmm. he can't even send SCVs back over there because they're Zerglings. Meanwhile, Zerg taking another base. Indeed, he is making a few more roaches as well, and it looks like for now Umbrella Corp Thorzane has held on, but, I mean, the Zerglings are at his front door, they're expanding everywhere, and he's finally starting back into drones as well as a spire, and right now, how many barracks does he have, Tasteless? Uh, let's see here, he has two. Two barracks. One, two. 24 SCVs total. His units consist of a Banshee, a Viking, a Seed Shank, and two Marines. As uh, the Spire finishes, man, I don't know. I feel like Thorzane's never going to be in the position to make an attack. Yeah, I don't see this uh, as a Thorzane win no matter what, unless, you know, unless our Zerg player really makes a huge blunder here. He's going to go ahead and take out the refineries. Why not? <laughs> Back over here, the Zerg base is getting up and running. Two extractors over there. Uh, the Viking spots it. And I think uh -oh. what that is is Thorzane just seeing just how behind he is uh, in this game. Yeah, even losing his single Viking Tasis, the Overlord's now moving back. The Roach in timeout right there against the wall. Oh, we got a little Roach there? Oh, he's got a naughty Roach, man. 
He's hiding. He doesn't that's even want to go to the battle. Do, that's actually that's going AWOL. He was yeah. probably supposed to be in that attack. It said he's hiding. Well, he may be court martialed a bit later. Now here comes a banshee, but seven mutalisks are suddenly in production. This is not good. I the queen should go down, but uh, you know with mutalisks out, the banshee's just not going to do anything. The queen does go down. Can he get a couple of drone kills off here? We see one more queen coming up. And that will end this Banshee's reign of terror. As there's, <laughs> can I can I call that a, a reign of terror? <laughs> it's been a reign of terror, Tasteless. Yep. I know how to make these games dramatic. Yeah, so, you So, yeah, the Banshee's gonna have to leave. And now we see the Medivac getting ready. But, hold that thought. He oh, he sees, sees it. it. Good catch there, Tasteless. Also, the engineering bay has just started. He's made a lot of sea chinks. It looks like he's just counting on Nurcio staying Roach. But Nurcio had that spire going for a long time, and I mean, there's no way for him to defend this. Uh, his his marines aren't even with combat shield yet, so the mules all die of fright, and GG, well played, says Thorzane. But guess what? That was only game number two. It's tied up one to one, so stay in your seat, because Tastosis coming back at you in just a moment with game number three.